So some of you have been asking me to make it five things I love about my BMW F30 in the comments of the video about the five things I hate. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna tell you guys the five things that I love about my BMW. So let's get into it. Number one would definitely have to be the exterior of the car, the look of the car. Um, I really love how this car looks. I love the exterior, I love the face, I love the back, I love the sides, I love all the design cues they have. I love how angry and aggressive and sporty the front looks. I love how wide and just like proper the back looks. And I really enjoy the fact that they made this 3 Series so wide because... Oh, that was my tripod. Because the last one was actually pretty, you know, slim. Like, it wasn't as wide. Like, this one is really wide. Like, the person who sits next to me, my dad does it all the time. The person who sits next to you is like, they seem pretty far away for such a small car. And it being a 3 Series, you'd not expect that. But I really love the aggressive styling of the car. And even though I don't have the M Sport or M Tech package, it looks even better with the M Sport and the Angel Eyes. So if you guys are looking to get this car, definitely get it with the Angel Eyes. It looks way better. I've said it before in my past video. Trust me, just get the M Sport package. Try and get as many of the options that you can because you will not regret it. Now, number two would definitely have to be the interior. I love this interior. So my friend who I met at a car meet, I sat in his C300 in 2014, 15, I believe, and it was so nice. Like. It was so classy, it was like so luxury, the seats, everything was just like high quality. This car, that's that's cool and all, but like for me, like I prefer what this car has. The simple, sportier, stylish look where, I'm not saying the, BM, the Mercedes isn't stylish, I'm just saying that the interior of this is just for my taste and I love the color I have going on, the black on the aluminum trim. I think it's it just brings it together and I really suits me as a person because I like things simple and clean and I don't like anything flashy like that's why my car I was okay with it not having like park distance sensors and cameras and all that because then I have to deal with the holes and the bumpers like I like things that are just a little bit more simple and this is definitely a nice simple yet still luxurious design for an interior. Number three is gonna have to be the driving dynamics of this car. Now that's what BMW are for they're all about become being the ultimate driving machine and this one's definitely an ultimate driving machine you can literally it feels like the car kind of has personality disorder in a way because it's so computerized you can throw it in comfort mode and have the comfortable ride with the smooth suspension and like soft steering and blast the AC and then you can throw it in eco mode where like it calms everything down makes everything bare minimum to save fuel economy and like you rev lower and then you have sport mode the car turns into like a beast and everything's just a totally different ride the suspension gets stiffer the ride gets stiffer the steering wheel gets heavier and it, the car revs higher it's just like a totally different car and i think that's what makes a car good the more all around a car the better it is this is like the lebron of cars it's so all around you can go from eco to comfort to sport and i know a lot of cars can do that but it's how many cars can execute that well and i feel like this car executes it extremely well because of how much of a difference there is from modes so like in terms of being like an all around machine and like you take it on a highway and you're you still having a like blast driving it it's smooth it's nice and you can throw it in sport mode and just like be cutting people off driving like a maniac and you you can't even tell that it's the same car and i really 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 enjoy that and that's something that i really love about this car because that's very hard to execute number four even though this is kind of strange to say i have to say it the fuel consumption this is a bmw and it's good on gas it's kind of like what like german cars that for the past couple of years haven't been so great on gas especially like the last three series the e90 like by that car drank gas like nothing i changed the spark plugs i tried everything i tried change the air filter the cabin i tried everything and it's just bad on gas for the city so the fact that this car is a four cylinder sure that's probably a huge re that is a huge reason why it's good on gas but it's just like i drove all the way to toronto and i I was right here, I filled right here on Woodhaven and Myrtle. If you guys are from New York, I filled at Woodhaven Avenue and Myrtle. I filled a full tank of gas, 93 octane obviously, and I made it all the way to my uncle's house in Etobicoke, Toronto, Ontario, whatever it is. I don't even know Toronto, Canada that well. But I made it all the way there and I didn't stop once. I didn't have to stop for gas once. We stopped once for, for food or snacks and then that was it. But I made it all the way there without having to stop for gas. That's, that's, that says a lot, you know? It was an eco mode the whole time, cruise control all the way, and I really enjoyed it. It was a, 
it was a great long drive. It was like one of my first long drives I've ever done by myself. And I just am very happy that it was in this car. And so yeah, so f the fourth would definitely have to be the fuel consumption and how great this car is on gas. And then you can just throw it into sport mode and it's just like terrible on gas. So I just like that a lot. Now these aren't in any specific order, but so the fifth thing would definitely have to be the iDrive system or just like the technology in my car. I really appreciate how easy and fun it is to use the iDrive system. I appreciate how you can get around it while driving. They made it easy to use. I love how there's buttons for specific things that makes everything faster. I feel like it's one of the best user interfaces for all cars of all cars that I've used to this day. I love how I feel more connected to the car. I feel like I know everything that's going on with my car. I like how I can just go to vehicle info and see everything that's going on or what's wrong with my car. I like how the iDrive system has the owner's manual in the car. I like a lot of things. I like how I don't think I can even drive a car without this kind of system anymore because it's like it's just so much better and easier to use. Like. The radio is like really cool design. I like how the telephone or Bluetooth connects together. I like the navigation system. I feel like this is like a really well all round user interface for any driver. It's easy to use and I really like that. I like how I can just use it every day and not be worried about how to use it or or not getting used to it because it took me two minutes to get used to this thing. Like I really love My GoPro just fell. That's interesting. You spend $40 on a GoPro suction cup and it just falls. That's very interesting. Uh, it's back up there. Anyway, so yeah, the iDrive system. I'm sorry about that. The iDrive system, I like, I love it all. I love how the car works with it and I just, you didn't, don't think I could ever use any other user interface and that's something I really love about my car is the user interface of the iDrive. So sorry guys for such a short video once again. I have a snowstorm coming tomorrow at god knows what time in New York. School's canceled and I had to get some type of video out so I just made this one because I didn't want to be outside in the freezing cold doing a DIY or doing something to my car. So if you guys enjoyed this leave a thumbs up. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.